Dear Miss Ford, you have been an amazing advisor and it helped me so much through my high school career. You have pushed me to be better and I am grateful for everything you do for your students. You've always kept me honest. You pushed me from being a shy individual to being a bit more open and willing to push myself. You've taught me so much about myself and allowed me to bloom into the person I have become. Dear Mr. Witten, you are always the one to make your students laugh. You can brighten just about anyone's day by just a comment and your cooking is amazing. You've been amazing help when just chatting and giving me advice about life or school. You both have helped me get through my high school career and being in the ag room was one of the highlights. Mr. Gagney, you have taught me to push myself above and beyond the limits that I had set. You always believed in me and supported most of my decisions, even if you didn't 100% agree with them. I am lucky enough to say that you were one of my advisors that I had back at my home, Lakes Region. You will always hold a special spot in my heart and I'm forever grateful for you. Mr. Martineau, you always told me to focus on the bigger picture. You were there when I would succeed, but you were most importantly there when I didn't. You really made me realize that I was part of something bigger than myself. Without that, I may never have pushed myself to complete a lot of my FFA goals. I'm so thankful to say that I had the chance to have both of you as my advisor back at home. Much love to you both. To my wonderful and amazing advisors, Mr. Petron, I am so grateful to have gotten to have you as a teacher. I know we gave you a hard time in class, but nevertheless, you always believed in us and pushed us out of our comfort zones. I remember very clearly my first year in Ag Science and Technology when you told us we were going to be welding. And I flat out refused. I was scared of getting electrocuted. I was scared of setting my hair on fire. But more than anything else, I was scared that I would be bad at it. So I refused to do it. But of course, you wouldn't let that happen. I remember you told me that you believed in me and that you knew that I could do it. And although I dragged my feet, that was the tiny, tiny push that I needed to put on a welding hat and do it. And you know what? I was awful at it, but that's not the point. The point is, is that was the first time I felt like a teacher actually believed in me and my abilities and showed me that they did. And for that, I am so grateful. Miss Rosequiss, I miss you so much. I look back joyously on the memories of my senior year in your classes. From you blasting and singing along to Santa Baby in the middle of our holiday production, to making us laugh all of the time. I love the classes that I took with you. You have a no-nonsense way, no nonsense way of telling us how you feel, but it really shows how much you truly care for all of us. Although I have many stories to share, a special memory I have is when you encouraged me to apply to college at Cobleskill, where you went, and study agriculture in college, even though I was very nervous, because that's not something I thought I could ever do. I'm so glad that you encouraged me, because I'm so happy that I did, and that I got to go down that path. You guys seriously help shape who I am as a person. I'm able to credit a huge part of who I have become professionally due to your guidance and genuine care for me and my fellow chapter members. Thank you guys so much for everything. Mrs. Ward, had it not been for your welcoming smile and persistence to keep me in the loop with everything going on, I don't think I would have stuck it out in the early days of my FFA career. You pushed me to try new things and helped me along my way whenever I needed it. You give me direction when I need it, and you always seem to know where to throw in a joke or poke a little fun at me and others who rightfully deserve it. Your love and care for all of your students is seen much further than the classroom. Everyone knows that they can come to you for wisdom, encouragement, or very necessary life talks. From all the experiences I've had with Mrs. Ward, I've learned a couple important things. One, love what you do. Working at what you love benefits not only you, but others too. The love you have for what you do brings out amazing outcomes and inspires others to try and work as hard as you do. Two, work hard. You only get out as much as you put in. If you're not going to go the extra mile and make sure everything gets done, well, why bother? If you do your very best, you won't be able to look back with regret. 
and three. Be kind. A little bit of kindness goes a long way in this world. It can lift someone up and change their entire day or more. It's as easy as a smile and a hello. Mr. Witten, I'm not sure where to start, so I'm just gonna send it here. When I first met you, I had a feeling you were a funny guy, and boy, I was right. Humor is something that comes easy to you, and you use that in the best ways. Your jokes can brighten a whole room like a light, and can make a moody and depressed high schooler forget their attitude and even crack a smile. You also have a knack for cooking. I always look forward to any opportunity I get to taste your cooking, and I have to say, you never, ever disappoint. In my time hanging around you, I've learned a couple of things also. One, enjoy the time you have. You've got to make the best of every moment as those moments are the only times you can enjoy in life. Two, make people smile. Happiness is one of the greatest things you can give to someone. And Mr. Witten's ability to light people up makes me want to do the same. Three, be you. Don't try to be like anyone else but yourself. You're a special and unique person, unlike anybody else in the world. And that is truly amazing. Thank you both so much for teaching me about life. I love you guys so much. Thank you.